After leaving school, I did a few different jobs. Then I went to art college. Um, and during that time, I got interested in Bach, the, the music. Went to a harpsichord recital in, in Wolverhampton. And then I bought some records. So I wanted, I wanted to make a harpsichord. <laughs> so I, 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 did, I did work for an architect and earn money. Um, doesn't matter what sort of work. And with some of that money, I bought a harpsichord kit. When I'd moved back to Lancaster, I sought help from a man at Levens near Kendal. After I'd been, after I'd known him a couple of years and been going there to help him out, he offered me a job. And I stayed there from till '78, and then I started here on my own. What do I do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well. It, it varies, it has to vary, because the process of making an instrument isn't doing the same thing every day. But usually it's arrive, make a cup of tea and look at the emails, and then st start physically doing the task that you probably left off, for, off from the night before. Um, the beginning of an instrument involves a lot of machine and wood up and stuff like that and the end of an instrument is just the finishing touches it's it's practical work in the workshop sometimes i go out and do repair jobs um or tuning jobs or um hiring harpsichords out for concerts but apart from that it's it's come to the workshop and actually construct things I don't know what what's the most. I enjoy certain things <laughs> strongly. Um, I, I know that I, if I hear an instrument of mine played in a concert, and I mean on a solo, not not with a, an orchestra. I mean that's good too, but um, and it sounds great. I get a hell of a, a buzz out of that. Um, I like making keyboards, like you saw over there, me cutting the bone. It, it's um, a diversion. It's a it's a unit on its own, and it it's it's um, function at the end depends on how carefully you've you've done the work, and it's rewarding. I think the most challenging is making an instrument that I've never made one of that type before it really you really do have to get your brain working and you see some of these instruments I've made many of I mean that one over there um, that I was sanding down before that's the 30th one of that type I've made and it comes second nature you know you don't make mistakes because you've done it that many times but if you have to make um, something new, um, you've really got to get your act together. In fact, this one, I've made three of these before, but these customers wanted three extra notes on the keyboard. And to fit that into the width of the instrument, I really had to do some brain work and do little drawings and measurings to, make, to get it to, to fit in, you know. So it's, that's the most challenging thing is, making a, a new instrument that you've not made before.